Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be taking a look at these two little bastards over here. On the left you have the Donner Mini Amp, and on the right you have the Black Star Fly 3. You can tell the Black Star has a size advantage, but the Donner is packed with some pretty good tones too. The Donner has two 1.6 inch speakers, and the Black Star Fly 3 has a 3 inch speaker. Both rated at 3 watts. Let's see which one can hold its own best as far as tone, functionality, value, and features are concerned. So let's take a look at some of the key features here. First off, the Donner is a rechargeable amp. So it's a battery built in here, and you can recharge it via USB. This is a mini USB port. The Black Star Fly 3, you can use rechargeable batteries, but it's not quite rechargeable. The Donner sports a channel switch here. This is, uh, they call it clear, but it's clean and distortion. But the odd thing is that the uh, position is marked at the same place. So the clear or clean points right at this space, but the distortion kind of points there. So yeah, I don't really know what they mean by that. And there's an accompany in, which is its MP3 input, headphones out, and you have these really nice bright power indicators here with LED lights. For the distortion to be on, this needs to be clicked on as well and you'll have the second blue light turn on. Then you have your tone and you have your gain. Now for a little guy like this, the tone of the distortion is actually pretty good. It's a pretty decent saturated, very mid heavy, you know, the one and a half inch speakers, 1.6 inch speakers to be exact. But volume wise, it definitely lacks a little bit of scream in it. The Fly on the other hand, as you can see, and this is a very familiar amp to most of us I think because we've seen a lot of reviews on this thing, so I'm not going to go too far into detail, but you definitely have a little bit more variety with controls and tone. You have your input, your gain, you have your overdrive select, your volume, your EQ which is the uh, ISF which is a uh, Blackstar signature tone control. You have a delay level here, delay time, and you have your MP3 and you have your, uh, sorry, MP3 and your headphones out and your power button. And the other good feature about this is that it's expandable. Not a stack, but another Black Star 3 extension cab. And you also have the option of plugging it in right to the wall. So as far as features go, Black Star already wins with the added delay. So that's about it for the features. So let's take a listen to see which one of these is going to rock a lot harder. These amps are really good. They're just meant for practicing, tooling around at home, maybe just throwing in your gig bag to get some practice time in before a show in the green room, something like that. So you can't really expect too much from these amps. I mean, they're small, they're designed for quick practice, and they have some features, but obviously they're not going to have every feature you may have on your pedal board. So for what they are, which is quick little practice amps, maybe for beginners, maybe just something to toss around and have some fun with, these amps are really good for that. Now as far as value goes, the Donner runs for about $40 and the Blackstar runs for about 60 
So for just a $20 difference, the Black Star is probably a better buy because you do get a nice delay on it, which I didn't use for this feature. I just wanted to give you some basic settings and things like that. But the Black Star definitely has some more features with a pretty controllable uh, delay that's time. And uh, the distortion, I think, is a little bit better. Uh, but overall, I mean, you know, it's just a better build. And the Donner had some really nice distortion, too, as you can tell. It had a lot of mid-range bark, which is what I actually like. But no reverb, no delay, nothing like that. And the two 1.6-inch speakers, although they sound pretty good, it definitely doesn't push as much air and as much volume out as the Black Star does. Also, I feel like it starts to uh, distort in a bad way. The speakers start to, I think, crack almost when you use a high volume. Again, for what they are, they're both really good. They're both really fun to play. It's just a matter if you have the extra 20 bucks or not to get the Black Star or not. But either one will serve your purposes pretty well for as long as you don't expect too much out of them. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time.